Hey what's up everybody, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get custom ROM options on your stock Nexus 6 or Nexus 9. Now if you've ever flashed a custom ROM on one of your devices, you've seen how they come with a bunch of extra options. These are usually either integrated directly into the existing settings menu, or they're bundled together in a separate ROM control entry or app. But with the Nexus, the pure Android stock ROM is one of the main draws. No carrier bloatware or TouchWiz nonsense to worry about, so the allure of flashing a custom ROM is definitely diminished. Even still, there's a few little tweaks that custom ROMs offer which would be nice to have. So developer Paul O'Brien of Modico fame decided he'd come up with a mod that adds custom ROM tweaks to the stock Nexus experience. To get this one going though, you'll need to be rooted with a custom recovery installed. But if you need any help with that stuff, just check out the full tutorial at the link in the description below. Then to get started, go ahead and download O'Brien's mod, which is called MCR Mod Pack. And that's another thing I have linked out at the full tutorial. So head over there and grab your copy, then the next step is to boot into custom recovery. To do that, start by powering your Nexus completely off. When the screen goes black, press and hold the volume down and power buttons simultaneously. This will bring up Android's bootloader menu. From here, use the volume down button to highlight recovery mode, then press the power button to select it. Now before you flash this one, it would be a good idea to get an Android backup going. You don't necessarily have to backup your entire ROM, but you should definitely get a backup of your system partition, which is what the zip makes changes to. With that said, go ahead and press the install button. From here, navigate to your device's download folder, then select the r 6 nexus 69zip file. After that, just swipe the slider at the bottom of the screen to install the mod, then when that's finished, tap Reboot System. When you get back up, you should see a super user access request coming from the system UI. Go ahead and tap Grant on this pop-up, then we can check out some of the cool custom ROM options. All of these options can be accessed through an app called MCR Control, which you'll find in your app drawer. There are plenty of awesome tweaks in here, so let me hit some of the main bullet points. You can turn off the carrier label on your lock screen, disable the upcoming alarm icon in your status bar, and there's even a few different options for battery percentage mods. After that, you can even turn off the status bar clock or prevent the top and bottom bars from turning orange when you're in battery saver mode. Then there's options for double tapping the status bar or even the navigation bar to turn off your screen. And speaking of the navigation bar, there's a cool little one-handed mode option, which I'll demonstrate here in a second. Then there's some mods for the new heads up notification interface in Lollipop. You can make it to where when you swipe up on one of these, it minimizes rather than dismissing the notification altogether. You can even tweak the functions of heads up notifications when you're in priority mode or turn them off altogether if you prefer it that way. Then finally, there's an option to enable the built-in double tap to wake feature on the Nexus 6, which is a nice little bonus. But getting back to that one-handed mode option, it's actually pretty cool, so let me show you how that works. When you long press the back button, all of your navigation keys shift over to the left. Long press it again, and they go back to normal. You can even do this with the other side if you long press the recent apps button. The navigation keys end up shifting to the right on that one. So it's almost as if you're running a custom ROM now, except you still get the stability of stock, so you're not compromising at all. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!